This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by British and Commonwealth champion Brad Foster. Brad, how are you keeping? Good, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Obviously, it's always good to hear that you're doing well yourself. A big smile on your face there. I'm always smiling, mate. I'm always smiling. I've got nothing to be sad about. It's good to hear. Obviously, we're down here today, only a matter of a few days away before you defend your British Commonwealth titles for the first time as a pair against Lucy and Ree. Just talk about how your camp's gone. Um, camp's gone gone good. Um, I've worked seriously hard because I know it's a it's a hard fight for me. I know it's a challenge. So this is a fight where I'll, I'll need to level up. Um, that's why I work so hard and I'm uh, very confident of the win. Lucian said for a while he's been pushing towards a British or Commonwealth title fight. Obviously you hold both of those now. What have you seen of Lucian though? Um, I've seen a few fights. I know he's a skillful fighter. I know he's in and out. As he said, he's got the amateur background. Um, so it'll bring new things out of me um, and it'll bring the best out of me. It's a good fight, it's a good fight for the fans as well. Um, I'm going to London, where he's from. Um, I'm bringing a, a big crowd down as well, so it's going to be loud in there, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a cracking fight. Brad's Barmy Army. Brad's Barmy Army, you know how it is. <laughs> Lucian Reed, people were touching on the fact that he has that amateur background. Just talk to him about your preparations to try and deal with that. Um, well, I've sparred a hundred, hundreds of amateurs. Um, this is pro boxing now. Um, and it, it's it's all experience, but at the end of the day, it comes down to just a fight. That's all it is. It's a fight. He's going to try and punch my head in. I'm going to try and punch his head in. Do you know what I mean? That's boxing for you. Um, so, yeah, it's just a fight at the end of the day. It was brought up in a press conference that you've actually been sparring Andrew Selby as well. Andrew Selby, one of the most highly rated fighters in, in the UK, even still after his defeat to Julio Cesar Martinez. What was that sparring like? Um, that sparring was very good. As I said, Andrew Selby is one of the most skillful boxers to come out of um, Great Britain. Do you know what I mean? He's fought. He, I mean, he's fought Lomachenko. So going to spar him, he's got serious knowledge. Um, so it was it was good going to spar him. Good going to see how he works in the gym. See how, see how he does things, and just good experience sparring really. Moving back to this fight, you only the, you're the second to last fight. Co-main event. As I've, as I said with Sonny Edwards earlier, his career's progressed. He's found himself going up and up the, the ranks. Now he's headlining. How have you found your own career progressing in that sense as you move towards headlining? Sonny said that, in his opinion, you could have been headlining comfortably here. I've said headlining like five times there. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my career is progressing. Obviously, as a pickup, I've got a British and Commonwealth title now. Um, and being on this show, as he said himself, this fight could be the headline fight. Um, but I'll just take one fight at a time. Obviously, I'm, as long as I'm progressing, as long as I'm still learning, I'm happy. So when you step into the ring on Saturday night, how do you see the fight playing out? Um, I don't think about it too much, but I have, I have my, uh, my thoughts on how the fight's going to go. Um, but the end goal is to, my, my, my vision is to be winning at the end of it. I spoke to PJ on the way back from Stevenage when you defeated Ashley Lane and he said that the, the plan was for you to maybe stick at British level to try and get five or six more fights under your belt to build up your experience. Is that a route which you can see yourself taking? Um, yeah, I want to win the British outright, so that's three times. Ashley Lane was my first defence, this will be my second, so do this one, get the win there and then I'll have one more defence of the British and then that, um, that'll be won outright. But the main goal is this weekend, 14th of September. Now, I remember watching your fight against Ash Lane and I saw Frank Warren jumping out of his seat, giving you instruction. I saw Tyson Fury had a few nice words to say to Frank about yourself as well. What have you found out about what they said back then? Um, well, Frank was over the moon because he, he said, told me to throw the right hand in the last round. I think it was two seconds ago and I just thought, yeah, I'll throw it. And then obviously it stopped him. Um, so he was happy about that. And uh, Tyson Fury, had, I, I can't remember what he said, but he said some nice words to my corner team. So that's nice getting praise from someone like Tyson Fury. He's also going to do the business on the 14th. <laughs> How do you see that fight with Otto Wallen going between Tyson? I think Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world. So um, that's he's going to win. You know what I mean? Silky skills, he's got it. How, how long until we see yourself on an undercard like that? Hopefully one day, but let's get 14th of September out of the way first. Let's get the win there. That's my main focus. Well, Brad Foster, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for speaking to myself and Boxing Social. Thank you very much, mate.